This is Dan Dix here reporting for Press for Truth with breaking news. Senator Rand Paul just got attacked by an angry mob of over a hundred one block away from the White House. He says, thank you to the D.C. Police Department for literally saving our lives from a crazed mob. And indeed they were. Here in this footage, uh, the senator can be seen being surrounded by police officers who are protecting him from this very aggressive Black Lives Matter mob who uh, surrounded the senator and uh, are being very threatening and intimidating. In fact, the police had to escort him out of the uh, harm's way. can be seen here. Um, one, one person ends up pushing one of the officers. You can see here. Boom. He falls into Rand Paul. Rand checks on the officer to make sure he's okay. And he keeps going. Uh, you'll notice he won't engage with these guys uh, at all because <laughs> there's no point at this uh, stage in the game. They're just completely insane, especially when, when you consider what they're saying to him. Just listen again closely here. Say her, Say her name! Say her name! Say her name! If these people had a clue who this man was and who they were surrounding right now, they might, you know, want to think twice about you know, thinking about potentially assaulting this man when he is literally the guy who introduced the bill um, uh, to uh, uh, stop um, the warrantless uh, uh, en enters that these people are against. Here it is, guys. Senator Rand Paul introduced the Justice for Breonna Taylor Act to prohibit no-knock warrants which allow law uh, enforcement uh, officials to forcefully enter a home without announcing their authority or purpose. Guys, he's literally the guy who introduced the bill called Justice for Brianna Taylor Act. And here they are saying, say her name, say her name. Without a clue that this man is, is, is not only... A, a, a fighting for the rights on their side, he, he's pioneering this. He's, he's one of the guys that they should be championing as a hero. That's just how clueless this mob is. And where have we seen this before, guys? Well, it seems oddly familiar. Remember that time not long ago when yours truly was surrounded by a violent mob of about 100 to 150 Black Lives Matter protesters who were viciously attacking me and the Police set up a barrier to uh, escort me out, and then I ended up getting assaulted. Um, as you can see here, police escorted me. Bam! I get assaulted. You know, I got I'm surrounded by about 150 BLM people who are, are claim think I'm I'm a white supremacist. They attack me there. They steal my equipment, uh, and then uh, the police end up escorting me over here. Here's where I get arrested. I'm under arrest for my protection. Uh, guys, the, the, the reason why I, I see such a similarity here is because, just like with Rand Paul, if those people knew that I'm the guy who made this film, Into the Fire, the Canadian documentary exposing police brutality in Canada, that's what that protest was all about, that I was uh, there. To, to cover, you know, and, and then they, they attacked me, somebody who has been exposing the very same things they want to see exposed for well over a decade, guys. Just, again, it shows it goes to show you how clueless this mob really is and how it's really just a mob, just that mob mentality. Groupthink kicks in. It happened to me. Um, it just happened to Senator uh, Rand Paul. Uh, thankfully, he wasn't uh, assaulted. Uh, like I was, but still, you know, the police had to escort this man out of harm's way because this mob had it completely wrong. They don't actually know who he is, and they just jumped on the attack because, uh, well, that's what it has come down to, guys. So I used to support, uh, you know, Black Lives Matter, the entire cause, but I mean, I'll, I'll say it here Today, I, I renounce all of that. I I I, uh, <laughs> I I am no longer in support of this of this movement. This is I, I don't know if it's being co-opted or 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 uh, you know taken over, but uh, it's not what it used to be. It has become something that I am now very much indeed against. Especially when when we see these violent thugs attacking people like me who they don't even know who I am, and attacking people like Senator Ron Paul 
not even knowing he's the actual guy who introduced the bill, man. It's just absolutely insane. So, yeah, these people are absolutely clueless, guys. Um, so it was just shocking to today to see this, and it sent me flashbacks of when it happened to me. Um, and uh, as you guys know, back then, uh, I did have my GoPro uh, stolen by one of these guys, and I set up a GoFundMe campaign. Uh, that raised some money, but then they terminated that campaign, probably kowtowing to the mob as well, you know, from some sort of mass flagging campaign by these leftist BLM idiots who are claiming I'm some sort of white supremacist or something. So they killed the campaign. Um, so I ended up uh, starting this one. Dan Dix assaulted, then arrested, then gets attacked financially. Uh, and it's go get funding campaign. These guys are not terminating my cause, guys. So if you support the, the work that I'm doing, please check this one out. Links will be located in the description below. I used to have a video there explaining everything, but of course I've been kicked off of YouTube, which is why you're, uh, uh, you know, uh, watching this on probably Library or Float or Minds or BitChute or all the other platforms that I'm on now. So, guys, if you appreciate the efforts uh, uh, that I'm bringing to the table here to bring you this information, please check the links in the description to find out where you can support me here at Go Get Funding. And uh, please also, if you uh, appreciate the info I brought to the table here in this video, click the thumbs up button, share the video, and stay tuned, guys. We're going to have more video reports coming soon. This is Dan Dix reporting for Press for Truth. We all want truth. truth. The truth will set you free. free, free.